hello friends in this video i will just uh, open and uh, show you what are the components which are inside a panasonic cordless phone this is a very old model which we bought long back and for some reason we have stopped using it so it was uh, lying on our terrace for more than a uh, eight to nine years under hot hot sun and uh, rain it was uh, open to sky and it was lying idle so now before uh, disposing it i just wanted to open it and see what is there inside a cordless phone so let's go ahead so it came with original battery you can check the model here now let's open it i haven't opened it earlier so i am not sure where and all the screws would be but still uh, i will try my best to do it uh, as fast as possible so visibly there is no other screws here now let's try to pop it out and open I think there might be some screw here but it got popped out of the way you can see the buttons inside there were only two screws behind and there is a, there was no other screw when i tried to pop it out a little bit hard it got opened automatically so almost uh, we have opened it Oh, it came out perfectly without any damage you can see a speaker connected here let us try to remove that also ok 
okay this seems like some slider here so i can push it to one side and i then i can lift it up yeah it came out so the speaker has been removed the back case has been removed so let's have a look here this is the charging port and a few other uh, capacitors transistors resistors which i don't have technical much of technical knowledge okay there is a uh, few more screws here we will try to open it oh that's just one screw and once i removed it the pcb also came out so you can see the display is attached to it and this is the front panel it has got this silicon kind of a keypad the middle navigation button different face of the cordless phone okay i am not sure whether this can be repaired but anyway we don't have use of this now but here pretty much everything looks very simple and neat so each individual part can be easily removed and it can be replaced see as you can see here when this display we can just pop it out easily and get it uh, replaced but actually i don't want to do this now whether i'm not sure whether what i'm doing is right or wrong the reason is it was lying outside uh, for many years and i fear there would be some mercury leakage inside here okay, i think it's yeah I think it got removed. Yeah, that was very simple. It was very simple. Wow, such a nice model. Oh, you can see the entire unit can also be removed just by pulling out this hook. Wow, that's fantastic. So we just need to unsolder this and uh, paste a new one for replacing the display. And I don't think so. Any of the parts would have gone. I there should be some gps module here but whatever it is it's a very 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 much simple design and uh, there were very minimal screws used to open uh, this actually there were only three screws two for opening the outer body and just one screw for this pcb that's it okay friends so hope this video would have uh, helped someone who would wish to repair the cordless phone thank you friends thank you for watching uh, i just wanted to give a small update i have put it back as it is but while fixing it i had one slight issue i just wanted to uh, tell it to your guys uh, when i try to cover it after fixing everything it was very hard and i since i have that uh, liberty to try whatever i want with this uh, not talking cordless i just try to forcefully press this on top first i place the bottom off and uh, here it was uh, uh, popped out and i try to push it hard inside and it got popped in so when you guys try to fix it you can uh, do it this way you need not uh, fear of whether the uh, cordless would have, would get damaged or not Okay that's it guys